Hello and welcome to DBase Plus 9. This is going to talk about editing the new property files for the editor inside of DBase Plus 9. A couple of things you should understand. DBase 9 now has a brand new editor built into it. It has all of the modern features that you would expect and you've seen the other videos with code folding, code completion, D blocks, all of those things that people have been asking for for many, for many, many years. We've actually went a step further and we've added a new feature called dbabble, which allows us to look at various source files, whether it be HTML, XML, JavaScript, SQL, and we include those inside the product so that you can look and use those project files and use them from within inside of dbase plus nine without having to go out to a secondary editor or a tertiary editor. One of the questions that comes up is, hey, how do I change those property files or how do I change the look and feel of a specific file? So if I would go out here to my other right now and I would come into here and put in PR asterisk, you'll notice that I get uh, some programs in here. Let me go out to the file directory that I want. And you can see I have property files out here. I've got other files as well. But the idea behind this is that I want to go ahead and make changes to my current SQL look and feel. So when I come out to my current SQL look and feel, let me just go into SQL, just grab one of them and open it up in the source editor. Notice that right now I'm kind of midway through resetting some of the properties inside of the SQL display for the editor. So you can see that I've got a dark blue background and I've got yellow for some things. And it, it, it doesn't look right just yet. Well, the reason for that is because I haven't set all the properties needed to make the changes for the SQL properties. So to do that, it's pretty straightforward. We include property files inside of your, inside of your users directory, and that can be found in your users, your account name, app data, local, dbase, plus nine bin directory. And that is a hidden directory to most people, so you have to go in and turn off uh, hidden directories to get to it and the reason why we hide it is not because we want we don't want you guys to find it or have access to it but it's really around the idea of you know for most people they they're not going to mess with this but we wanted to share how they these work so that you have the best opportunity to get the most out of dbase plus nine so as you can see i'm going to come into here and i'm going to come down to the sql and we're going to look for the sql properties and I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say open an editor. Now as you can see there are a quite a number of things inside of these property files. So you can see that there's keywords in here, there are uh, keywords depending on which file pattern you're using, whether or not you're using uh, PSSQL from Oracle, whether you're using DBase, whether you're using MSSQL, whether you're using SQLite, all kinds of different things for the editor. So this is a really expansive way to get additional functionality out of dbase plus nine that you've never had before and as you can see it opens up the world to all kinds of new features and functionality and capability going moving forward so we've really built an editor that has a lot of robustness and a lot of ability to go forward to the future so the big thing we want to look at is really the style structure and if you look over here, you'll see some that there's some styles. Now, the thing about property files, if you're going to go out and look at them, the pound sign is basically a comment line. So that just tells you that it's a comment line. And then there are the things that follow. Now, the idea behind that is let's go out there. I'm going to pull up a quick HTML file. And this is talking about some of the properties that you can set. And this is inside of your DBase help that's included with the product but the idea behind it is as you can see there's a style lexer dot number 32 and what does that mean well the style lexer 32 is the default style and its features will be inherited by other styles unless it's overwritten by something okay so what we want to do is this is the most important thing because I want to set my background for my SQL to be completely dark blue. And right now I've got dark blue in some places and I've got dark blue not in some places. So let's go back out there and take a look 
at the structure and I can give you a little bit more understanding of what's going on. So as you can see, the white space area right here, this thing that's called white space. Well, what am I doing? Well, that is the style zero for the SQL file. And I'm giving it a weight of the foreground of a normal. Now you can go lighter or you can go darker or bold. So if you go 100, it's lighter. And if you go 700, it's bold. And if you go 400, it's normal. And I want a foreground color of FFF0, which is yellow. And I want a background color of hex 80. And that's going to give me that dark blue background that we have right now. And I've set some of these other ones up to be the exact same. But now what I want to do, as I said before, is I want to go out there and modify the dark blue background. Well, we looked at the documentation and we noticed the documentation said that it should be set with number 32. So if you look up here, I have style number 32. And I have an asterisk in between it, which means that anything that's going to get displayed in this viewer, on this editor, using this property set, anything that's going to get set with that is going to have a base font of the background of 80 and the foreground of white. Then I want to set my correct foreground. That's the blinking dash to show you where your cursor's at inside of the editor. And I want to set that to that yellow color as well. So to do this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the comments and make these lines live now. So when I'm done with that, I can go ahead and hit the Save button. I'm going to go ahead and close down DBase. And I'm going to restart DBase. Now we've made those changes to that file. So I want to come into here and I want to look for my SQL. So I'm going to go into a directory where I have some SQL. And I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to open in Source Designer. Now notice what happened. Notice that my keywords now have the blue, or excuse me, the blue background with yellow. And my regular terms have a white set. And then from, and then my inner joins all have the yellow. So I, I've started to set up the context sensitive highlighting. So now that I've kind of done that, as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty robust. I can come back in here and I'm not going to change everything from this standpoint. I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple of highlights of a couple of more things. But if I come into my properties file again, and notice, now that I've set this up, because I've set this lexer up to say, hey, I want all these things to use this, I could go in there and just say SQL, and it would bring it down to only SQL. But I said, do if I'm using that lexer, use it for everything at this particular moment in time. So I'm coming out here, and let's say that I wanted to change the comment line. Well, as you can see, it has a SQL style of 2. There's that weight of 400. And then there's that color again for that structure. The same way with a number. How would a number look? Well, I've got this copied down through the whole thing. You can then go in there and change those colors to be as you would like. Now, one question you may have while you're watching this video is, hey, you have that line going down through the process. Well, all that is is on the editor, it's the overlay column line. If you don't want to see it, you can just take it and turn it off, and that will automatically take that out of the way so you don't have that in there. But the idea is, is what I did was I set the, again, the global background color to be dark blue, and then I set my foreground color to be white. So that's why everything's showing up as white inside of here. But if I go into my navigator again, and I go into my SQL file again, then what that's going to show is that's going to come back up and it's going to show the yellow because I've turned on those areas to be yellow for the keywords and the key functionality for it. So again, that gives you just a quick understanding of how these property files work. The functionality is there and we're really excited to have this type of functionality available in DBase Plus 9. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.